Hello, hello, welcome back my fellow Hashababs. This year, 2023, the in-demand mutation lovebirds are criminal and criminal offline lovebirds. These lovebirds are really gorgeous and eye-catching, but also expensive. And almost all breeders are producing this mutation because of its high value price in the market. But how about those breeders with no any criminal or criminal opaline lovebirds? How can they produce? Because this mutation are recessive mutation. Same with albino and latino. Meaning recessive, both should have genes of enogenes. And that's my topic for this video, my fellow Kashababs. I'm going to share the basics in making in making and producing material needed or the offspring needed for making criminal and criminal opaline mutation. For me, I have here Lutino male matured and par blue ewing opaline hen matured and they are bundled already. With this basic pairing, I can produce an offspring with Eno and Parblue genes material needed for Cremino. And that's the stage one, my fellow Pasha Pops. If we pair this together, Lutino and Parblue of offspring will have a split Eno from the genes of Lutino and also genes of split par blue genes plus with opaline because the female par blue giving has opaline mutation so if it is male it will be split opaline mutation split in offspring it should have uh, genes of Eno and par blue the second batch we're going to do, second second part we're going to do, that offspring we're going to bond it together, pair them together to produce a uh, criminal mutation lovebird or criminal of a line lovebird. And what will be their offspring if we pair Lutino and Parblu of a line? Here they are. Green, split par blue, split opa, split ino. If it is male. And for female, green, split par blue, split ino. Par blue, split opa, split ino. Par blue, split ino. Or blue, split opa, split ino. And blue, split ino. But much better if you have lovebirds, the opa line is male. By that, it's easily for you to identify which is female and male because if the upper line is male, through upper line chart, we can identify immediately which is upper line and non upper line and which is male. what is their gender. So that it's easily to identify the gender of offspring lovers from upper line 16 chart. From stage 2, stage 2 is the most important part because from those offspring, I have materials needed for a criminal and criminal opaline project by pairing those siblings. And those possible results will be criminal, criminal opaline, and able to produce Lutino opaline. Wow, my fellow Pashabab. The main success in breeding this mutation is patience. Because it really takes uh, one year or two years just to have the material offsprings plus by pairing these siblings. This is not a shortcut way but an excitement that you make a project from your own and produce from a cheaper cost without spending too much money. For that, thank you for watching my video don't forget to like share leave your comments and subscribe if you're a new subscriber to my channel thank you my fellow kasha Bobs.